Hey everyone, thanks so much for checking out the video. I appreciate it. I hope you guys get a lot out of this. Um, you know, these help me too. They show me things to teach, uh, help me understand things that I'm doing. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a basic 1-4-5 progression in the key of C. So C, F, and G. And we're going to play these just in the triad shapes, just the three notes of the chord. We're going to do it on the G, B, and E string, and we're going to work our way up the neck playing those three chords. And I'm going to explain things as we go along the way. So, and you know, I, I know you can't see my face, but I'm just doing this because I think this is better to see the guitar than it's more important, right? So we got our C chord here. I'm just taking the bottom of a C chord. So you play the bottom three strings, it's the three notes of the C chord, C, E, and G, not in that order, G, C, E, right? And then I'm gonna play an F here. Now that's just the bottom of your basic F chord or this or your full bar, it's just the bottom three notes. Like that, right? So this is an A, C, F, but F, A, C are the three notes that make up an F chord. And then I could do G a whole step up from F. Now, I, so G is G, B, D, so this would be starting from the lowest note, that would be your B, your D, and your G, but G, B, D. You could also include this open position here. That's not, te that's not technically a um, triad because you're either you're playing G, B, G, or if you played both the third fret of the B and the E, then it would be G, D, G, so a power chord. But it still works. It still gets the point across, so I could play C, F, G, and back to C, right? So there now I'm just seeing my open note. So what am I doing there? I'm, I'm seeing my open position. C my open position C major scale. Right? So there's your open there's your open C chord and there's your open position C major scale. So with all these chords when I have fingers free, so that's the F. So the C. Right, I'm putting myself into a groove, right? This is what I'm feeling when I'm start having fun with this stuff that's the big thing right it's, it's, it's not just don't look at this as like just what you're gonna do is just play that start you know incorporating some other notes and just have fun with it you know rhythmically uh, the neck and, and by the way yeah so the G could have just been from the open G chord right if you did the did it like this just taking the bottom three strings okay now we move up to C up here now I'm thinking let me make sure I'm in tune here I forgot to do this before I before I started the video all right so the next position up is gonna be my A position for C So the next, posi the next position up here is my A position. Okay. So I'm seeing the bottom half of this A-shaped chord move up from my C. I'm in the key of C. This is the A-shaped chord. I'm not going to get into the cage, but for those of you who know the cage, I'm in the A position. So I'm taking the bottom three strings. There's C and then F. to C. So that's, that's 
five, five, three on the G, B, and E. And then for the F, it's five, six, five, G, B, E. And then the D, or the G is four, three, three, G, B, E. And back to the C, five, five, three. Now I'm seeing this, uh, sorry, the, the C major scale here. So I'm thinking my A position. So that's the scale that I see in that position. So, so again, if I start playing, See, I mean, I'm saying sorry is because I'm missing it and I'm getting out of time and I feel that and then I feel like people are listening that they're, <laughs> they feel it so. But it's important that I'm putting myself in the time when I'm doing this stuff, okay? So you can see that, you know, what I'm striving for is to keep it going without any, you know, and what happened there was I got off, I forget where it was, you know, I got out of it, I wasn't seeing the chord quick enough. And I got out of time, right? Uh, where's next? So the next position up now, and I'll, again, we can do this a couple ways. This is the G position. We could play this C right here, or this. So I'm basically playing five, five, eight. Again, that's from the G string down. Five, five, eight. Or I could go five, eight, eight. So this is the G position for C now. Again, this isn't a true triad, but it can still work. And I can play the F still here. Now I can play the G up a whole step. Remember, this is just the, G, the D shape I'm using for F. So I should go back here. For the G chord, and I'm going back here now, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm forgetting that I, I forgot to do something. So we said this was the A shaped C chord. Then we had the F, which now this F could be the D-shaped chord, right? Or it could also come from the C-shaped chord, so the bottom half of that, of the C-shaped chord, right? It's right there when you're doing this, right? That's just that, that's this barred. And then it's also this when you play, think of the D-flat. So then, and then the G here is the bottom half of your E-shaped G chord. These triad shapes are just coming from uh, the bar chords or the cage chords, and you're just breaking them up into small little chunks. They're not all in root position, but it's the three notes that make the chord. Right? That's all that matters. Okay, then we moved up here now, and I'm in the G position for C. So I have the bottom three, like I said, either 5 8 8 or 5 5 8. And then we had F, we already did it, so it would be the C shaped. Now it would be considered the C shaped. F, or this, and then uh, the G, now you can move the C shape up, or D, you can consider it D, position, so it's the same chord, and then back to C. Now again, that isn't a true C, so I could start up here now, well, this, I'm seeing for in, in the G position here, I'm seeing this major scale here, the pentatonic. So even when I play the, that's why I want to do the F, I wanted to go. And G. So I'm just seeing, I'm just seeing the C, the G position. This is the bottom half of the E form for C. And then F. And this would be the bottom half of the A form for F. So that's 10, 
10, 8. The C was 9, 8, 8, 10, 10, 8. I think I said that before. And then G, well, you could do the D or the C form again. So that's 9, 8, or 7, 8, 7. seeing that scale around the chords and this is why I can add in all this stuff but again I'm that's what I'm feeling I'm feeling a groove that helped me keep things in time and that takes a lot of practice to, to do that right should be fun though uh, then you could come up here and basically you're back to where you started right see here this would be the D form or the C form an octave higher Right? So that's 12, 13, 12. And then for F, I could go to this here. And then G, I could do this. So you got to realize you have options. Like the previous one we did in the E form, well, I could have done the F. And then I could have just moved this F up and then come back. I go to C here. So I chose here, C, F, and then G, and then back to C. Now I could go C, F here, and I can move the G up, and then, so you can start mixing things up, right? So C, you know, let's see here, so. G, C. Does that make sense? So now you got to do this on all the string sets, right? So that was just the G, B, and E. So now you got to start playing them on all. The, you got three more string sets: the D, G, B, the A, D, G, and the E, A, D. If you have any questions, let me know. I'd be happy to help. I do, I teach in person and online. Thanks so much.